on top of their towers because if they're ever out of position, the chip damage or just the straight siege from Corky, Lucian, and Graves is so potent. Yeah, and conversely for A2IG, they've got decent sieging power, but it's not nearly way, despite the long land, is actually reaping a pretty big benefit. And CS still 20 up, but action on the bottom side. Pendicu gonna get headbutter back in with the pulverize. Yolo's down here as well, looking for the counter gang. Because Pendicu heals and flashes away. XQ almost gets blown up instantly. As there's another TP gonna come in for it. XQ still alive though. And now that's a flash forward from Pendicu. He wants the kill, but he's still not gonna lock it down. Yolo is able to get it, but Rice is gonna get the next kill on Solution. As M3 still in the thick of it. Chimin though can join back in as Savoki is forced to flash out. Gosu flashes forward and gets himself a double. Good poppy ultimate's gonna keep them out of the way, but Raphael's finally made his way down. Shu is somehow still alive, but that's 17 is going to get sniped by a rocket. Alistar falls to YOLO and what a mess in bottom lane. Yeah. Does mean that the people that got kills are powering up nice and quickly as expected. Dash not quite there though for Pentacube, but he's completely trapped Chimin. Just going to wipe him off the top lane. It's fine. Italy's still strong enough. Meanwhile in the river. Savoki battling Gosu. Shoes here as well though. So we're going to get moved back into the other side, and that's the wrong side. Locked up there by Ryze. Jimmy gets himself another kill, and M3 very sloppy to get two picked off there. I think we'll be seeing him for a little while. As Yolo jumped on there by Chim and teleport down for M3. Once again, we are going to go aggressive. Ulti out onto XQ. He's going to cause problems for Callista. Yolo takes out Chim on the other side as well. And now XQ's locked up as Pendicu chases down XQ and gets him out. S17. He's going to kick one away with the ultimate, but Pendicu's still fighting around. Poppy does take out Yolo on the other side. Now Ghost is going to flash in and take out Pendicu. HYG managed to turn things around, but it's an even trade so far. BF Sword. And the Warhammer already done. As Gosu now in trouble. Good tag there from Savoki. See you, mate. As Lucian takes him out. Back towards that turret. And now A2G comes straight back. S17 is in for it. Yolo actually straight in the front line. Has to flash out of the way. Does use the ulti for a bit of disengage. And XY taking up a whole host of damage. But A2G have more than enough damage to try and clean this out. And Zavoki is going to go down. Raphael just can't get in there as XY falls as well. Ve to assist his team and get on the same side. Now, what is Raphael doing here, actually? Speaking of same side. Face check <laughs> everyone here. He's just dead. He realizes that he's not on blue team, right? completely online, doesn't have the Void Staff, but you don't have the MR built up to justify. Yeah, and actually, once again, HYG might have found a catch, but it's actually them who's caught away. Good ulti there as well. They're trying to chase YOLO for another one, but they'll take XY instead. XQ able to get a kill as Chimin solos out Savoki in the top half of that fight. And he's still competing against Callista. Yeah, Shu's just going to disengage him, but he's actually going to get oh, engaged on now instead. Poppy, oh my god, that's rude. Gosu blows him up. Straight into the Poppy W after a headbutt. No, nope. He's going to hold it too, because Raphael's here. I think they want to kill. Yep, they do. <laughs> Raphael going to get locked up. Here comes Shu. Shu is here in time. Great ulti there from Poppy. Chance he sees. Wonderful. And S17 slaps him down. Oh, but the team fight is uh, pursuing. All right. X XY tries to make a flank happen, but XQ is going to keep running away. Good flash there from the Callista as the Fate Call is going to re-engage with the support. Rips through everybody else, and M3 get desperate for that one. Gosu, though, going to go straight up into YOLO's first, but almost gets taken out in the other half of it. HYG, though, they win the team fight and they'll push forward. With everyone blinking and dead, like you said, this is going to be for sure be an inhibitor, possibly more if they choose to continue this push. They're pushing into the base. Yeah, they're gonna look for at least one turret here. They might even look for a few more here. Yolo, pretty strong. S17's gonna lock him up though. Plenty of CC and that's gonna be a kill. Pentacute, the only one now left alive, but I don't think he can stop this on his own. Death time is very long at this stage. Corky up in 10. Savoki's up right about now, but HYG are gonna push through. They'll take down the Nexus, flip the game around, and game one goes to them.